The vision was to figure out a model by which you could uh, drive an entire country without gasoline. We're putting a massive extension cord across an entire country. Better Place is much more than electric cars. Our mission is to end our oil addiction through sustainable transportation. So we buy only clean electricity. We buy electricity only from renewable sources, and we sell you miles. We do. We're effectively a mobile operator, only instead of talking on our device, you drive in our device. Now time has come to say every person will have a car that doesn't pollute. President of Israel, President Paris said, if you can find the money to finance this, $200 million we need it, and if you can find a car maker that will tell me you're not nuts, we'll give you a country to put it in. Makes a lot of sense for Renault-Nissan, makes a lot of sense for uh, Shai Agassi and his team. We're going to work with a variety of automakers, bringing a variety of, of vehicle types to market. So from SUVs and crossovers like this car here, to sedans, to sports cars, to pickup trucks, to luxury cars. So the big difference between electric cars of today and, and old golf carts is, is that this one can go zero to 60 in about nine seconds, can do about 110 miles per hour, and when you let off the gas and get on the brakes, you can actually do regenerative braking to charge your battery. Better Place is going to be deploying uh, electric vehicles, car 2.0, across the globe, and I, my, I'm excited about it. I'm pleased to announce today an expanded electric vehicle strategy such as batteries, standards, and infrastructure. We're going to build our first Chrysler electric vehicle for retail customers next year. An electric future, electrifying, big three hybrids, man, will survive, will be green. I think this is fantastic. I, I have a general sense that sockets will be in higher demand three years from now. But the key question to ask is where does that electricity come from? In order to be sustainable, it has to be carbon free and preferably renewable. We can't control when the wind blows. But with an electric vehicle, you can time the charging. It's called smart charging. In, in Denmark, we partner with Dong, Danish oil and natural gas company, which owns the largest utility, also owns most of the uh, renewable energy sources and wind in, in Denmark. In Australia, we partner with AGL, the largest supplier of renewable uh, energy, and with Macquarie Bank, the biggest bank and infrastructure management company. In the Bay Area, most of the partnership is with government. And yet we are open now for other strategic uh, players to come in and work with us. You know, for some time I've been saying that Ontario should be the home of the first truly green car. Well, today, we're taking one step to get us a little bit closer. These cars are the first generation of the next generation of car. It includes charge spots so that uh, wherever you, spot, you, you stop your car and park, you, you uh, top off. It includes switch stations so that wherever you want to go while you're on the road, you can switch the battery keep on going. As people get educated and understand the implications of both price uh, but also convenience and the implications on the environment. Most people say, I don't want to be the last guy caught with a gasoline car.